You wanna transform your business, your life, your health, your relationships, and you think that if you can focus on 30 things over the next year and make small, little improvements, that it's gonna all add up to a better life. If you are unhappy with any aspect of your business or your life, you have to take a massive swing. And focusing on 30 things, doing little tiny improvements is not gonna get you there. And I understand, it's like really comforting to be able to sit down with a pad of paper and think, okay, let's, let's focus on health, let's focus on relationships, let's focus on how I am as a husband or a father, let's focus on my faith and my business and my operations and my marketing. And now I have this massive list. This idea of ones and twos, the 1%, the 2%, the 3% increase in all of these little areas will add up to a much bigger thing. It works in a system. It works when you have a large team. It works at scale. It doesn't work when you're one person. Because when you're one person, you're emotional. Yeah, you get sleepy, you get lazy, your willpower runs out, your energy gets low. You start to think, I can't do this, I can't make it work. So rather than have one thing that you focus on and crush, you find yourself kind of doing okay on 30 things, it's not gonna happen. You're gonna see little tiny improvements, you're gonna see a lot of complications, you're gonna see a lot of roadblocks, you're gonna see a lot of fails. If you wanna see an increase in any area of your life, especially in terms of multiples, you have to fully commit to it. Let me give you an example. I have a friend who wants to grow their business five times larger over the next year, five times more revenue in one year. And so when my friend comes to me, I think it's totally achievable. It's huge, it's massive, it's a larger scale and a larger growth and a larger operation than I think my friend has even ever dreamed of. Five times larger business in a service-based business, we start to run into capacity issues. We start to run into operations issues. We start to look at scheduling and timelines and how much throughput can we put through this business. But I think in 12 months it's possible. So then the next question becomes, what does the business look like and how do we get there? How many people, what are the timelines like, what is the schedule like, how, you know, if it's location based, how many locations do we require, what's the total revenue per location, uh, how many clients do we need, what's the turnover of clients, how much staff do we need, like let's paint a picture for what this five times larger business looks like. This is where we are now and this is where we're going. And then the next thing I look at is what are the activities that will lead me there in this time period? You can focus on direct sales, you can focus on PR, you can focus on all kinds of things. Essentially, at the end of the day, more people have to know about you, more people have to want your service, and more people have to be ready to buy right now. And then of course, after that, it just comes down to the operations and can the business sustain all of those clients and all of those people. But if you wanna go from I am here to five times larger in 12 months, well, that is such a compressed time period. You should only be doing activities that will get you to your goal in that time period. So does it make sense to start long-term activities? Of course it's natural to say, I wanna start for marketing SEO because in three years it'll pay off. And I wanna do social media and build my following because in 18 months it'll pay off. And I wanna start doing a video series and doing all of these things because by year three, four, five, it will pay off. Of course you wanna do that. And if you had a two or three or four year time horizon, I would 100% focus on that. And going from five times to 20 times larger, those are all activities you wanna do. But when you are a small company with a small staff and you have a compressed time, don't focus on anything that will not get you to your five times larger goal in 12 months. I am confident that four things over the next 12 months will get them there. Maybe five, no more because there are only so many activities that you can scale and grow. And that comes down to advertising, to social campaigns, that comes down to retention, so the clients that he, that he has, how does he turn them into a client a second time and a third time. It comes down to very targeted sales, advertising, and marketing opportunities. Deciding whether we should change the sign outside of a location does, does not see a five times increase in the next 12 months. But he should only focus on the activities that will have him hit his goal in the 12 month horizon. And that is the same for you. You can do anything. Set a goal, set a timeline, and then focus on the few activities that will actually have you see your goal come to life. So what does this look like for you? 
Is this health? Is this relationships? Is this your business? Do you want to grow your team? There's so many aspects of what you're doing in, in all areas of your life that you can apply this to. And so, of course, you're going to say, well, you know, I'm busy. I, got, I wear a lot of hats. I got a lot of things I got to work on. I just, I can't focus on such a few amount of things. Well, then the next thing to do, if you can't focus on the number, if you can't compress the timelines, compress your schedule. Most people do not have a schedule that actually works for them. They schedule their time around tasks and around appointments and around others. They don't schedule their time around what they want to achieve and the activities that are going to have them hit their goals. I think there's a difference between a task and an activity. A task is something you got to do so you can check it off. An activity is something that you're doing that is driving towards the purpose, the plan, the larger goal, the thing that you're doing. That's an activity. It is forward moving. It is not a check. I've done it. And so if you can't limit the things that you focus on, you have to limit your time. You have to say, this block of time is to do this and I am going to make the most of these minutes and these hours while I'm doing it. I'm not gonna be distracted. I'm not gonna be thinking of other things. I'm gonna turn off my email. I'm gonna not gonna answer the phone. You come and try and bug me, Mr. Staff Member, I'm gonna yell at you because my time is too valuable to be wasting on that. But even then, you're gonna limit your calendar to three, four, five, six different types of activities. Ultimately, if you are a team, if you have a system, if you can delegate, if you can delete, if you can really focus on what you're doing as an entire system, as an entire team, then for sure, crush those 30 things. But if you're one person, if you're four people, if you're five people, if you're a small team, you have to focus on the things that actually matter. You just, you can't do 30 things well, you can't. I feel like I've beat this dead horse. If growing and scaling your business by being better at sales and better at marketing, better at customer experience is important to you, be sure to check out this video right over here. And like always, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon, and get each video every day when it drops.